Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Subtip webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create in place hold in Exchange 2019. With the help of in place hold feature, all items that are deleted from the user's mailbox are preserved in the recoverable item store and they can be recovered through an e-discovery search on the user's mailbox. Administrators can search and recover held items while users cannot search for or recover the held items. This feature replaces the need to perform a restore when a user deletes messages from the mailbox when there is a compliance requirement to investigate the mailbox. Let's see the steps to get more idea about in-place hold. To use the in-place e-discovery and hold wizard, a user should be added to the discovery management role group. By default, this group does not have any members in it. Administrators who have the organization management role are restricted from doing any in-place e-discovery searches without being added to the discovery management rule group. We will use exchange management shell to add an administrator to the discovery management rule group. Let's go to exchange management shell console. To add administrator to the discovery management rule group, the same rate will be add a hyphen role group member. And then we need to specify hyphen identity switch. Here we need to specify the name of our role group, which is discovery management. And then we need to specify switch hyphen member to specify our administrator. So our complete command will be add hyphen role group member, hyphen identity, discovery management, and hyphen member administrator at msftwebcast.com. Let's press enter key. We have successfully added domain administrator to the discovery management group. Let's confirm the same. For that, we will use same delete get hyphen role group member hyphen identity discovery management. Let's press enter key. And here we can see the name of our administrator. Now, let's open Internet Explorer and type in URL HTTPS call and double slash localhost slash ECP to access Exchange Admin Center. Click on more information and click on go on to the web page. Let's sign in as an administrator with the password. In the Exchange Admin Center web interface, first we need to click on Compliance Management section. And then after we need to click on In Place e Discovery and Hold tab. And as you can see, there are no items under In Place e Discovery and Hold tab. Let's click on plus icon to start a new wizard. A new In Place e Discovery and Hold window provide the name and description for the hold. Here I have provided the name MSFT Webcast In Place Hold. Let's click on next. We can't select the search all mailboxes option when creating an in place hold. To create an in place hold, you must select the specific mailboxes you want to place on hold. And that's why the radio button specify mailboxes to search is selected by default. Let's click on plus sign to add mailbox. From the list, I'm going to select the user mailbox of Anand Panchal. and Seema Kapadia. Click on Add and click on OK. Uh, select Don't search any mailboxes option to exclude mailboxes from the hold and place a hold only on public folders. And for that, under public folders, you need to select the checkbox Search all public folders and which we are not going to select. In place hold is a premium feature that requires an enterprise client access license. Click on next to continue. Under search query, by default include all content, radio button is selected. Select that option to place all content in selected sources on a hold. We can also select the second radio button, filter based on criteria. This option is used to specify search criteria including keywords, start and end dates, sender and recipient addresses and message types. And if you want to specify keywords, you can specify here. 
and this limit is going to be around 500 keywords in Exchange 2019. If you want to search query based on start and end date, that time you need to select the checkbox to specify start and end date. That we are not going to do. Suppose if you want to search query based on from, then click on add users under from and select the sender. Let's select the sender, for example, administrator and Jaisa. Okay. And you can do the same for 2CC and a BCC as well. Let's click on select message type. And from this, you can select the message type which you want to include in the search query. For example, emails. Let's click on OK. So this is the way how you can define the search query based on your criteria. Let's click on next to continue. Select the checkbox. Place content matching the search query in selected sources on a hold. This option is used to place an in-place hold on selected mailboxes. And if you select hold indefinitely option, then the items on hold will be preserved until we change the hold duration, remove the mailbox or public folders from the search or remove the search manually. We can also specify numbers of days to hold items relative to their received date. This option is used to hold items for a specific time period. For example, let's specify time duration 365 days. Ok, let's click on finish and wait for the process to finish. Once process completes successfully, click on close to close this console. In the in place a discovery and hold tab, we can verify that we have successfully created the in place hold for mailbox Anand Panchal and Seema Kapadia. Under the search uh, with the status, we can verify estimate in progress. Let's click on refresh icon and let's scroll a little bit. And here we can see on the status uh, estimate succeeded. Run by administrator, run on this timestamp and size is 3.9 MB. Items, total 3 items and let's click on preview search result to view the result. Click on add, add again and click on close. Let's sign in as an administrator. Ok, here we can see the mails using a discovery search on user's mailbox. So we can see total all items, uh, three meals are there. For Anand Panchal, we have three meals, and for Sima Kapadia, we don't have any meals under it. Fine. So this is the way how administrator can run an e-discovery search on the user's mailbox to search and recover held items. Let's uh, close it and let's again go to the exchange management shell and let's run CMD delete get hyphen mailbox hyphen identity anant panchal format list in place hold and let's press enter key. This same delete will display the in place hold GUID for the mailbox anant panchal. In this way, we can create in place hold in exchange 2019 using the exchange admin center. That's all for this video. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.